Hi guys, it's Ricky, and this is Ricky Reveals. <laughs> so, um, oh, it's been kind of a weird day. Um, I got that Taurus feeding out earlier, which really helped out a lot. I was finally able to say some shit that I've been trying to say for like three weeks. And even though I didn't get to say it to the face, it still helped. <laughs> um, now I'm going to do Aquarius. Because, I don't know. I think because of certain people, I um, had the wrong outlook um, because, I don't know, hopefully everything works out the way God, God's will is <laughs> always going to work out. So whatever God wills for us will happen, but I, I feel bad, like got a little of my feelings last year and um made some stuff public in a drunken moment that shouldn't have been public. So I hope this person can forgive me. But anyways, this is for Aquarius. Holy angels, holy, holy spirit, holy angels. Please give me a message for Aquarius. Connecticut and Virginia. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, we got Darius. We've got, no matter how hard it is, do the right thing. You are meant for greatness. Stand in your power and go after your throne. <laughs> I'm taking that. Billy, stop and smell the roses. So many of these like um, index cards are so hard to shuffle. Robin, North Dakota, a plot twist is coming. Oh, and we got Liz. And your dreams are reality. November. I was kind of hoping it was going to happen this month, but November is not that far away. Uh, pray and meditate. You got to always stay in alignment and um, keep your vibration high because you are meant to shine, Aquarius. White truck. Proverbs 27 7. First Kings 12 12. And I saw your light. I was afraid to change. I was comfortable in my darkness. And Aquarius, you might have a stalker. And their name could be Kurt or Tito. <laughs> and you might have taken a vacation to Uganda or you might be thinking about traveling to Uganda. Okay. Put these away and get out the uh, intuition and ink tarot deck. Looks like somebody's got love coming. New beginning in love. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, please give me a message for Aquarius. Any Aquariuses that will watch this video when I post it to my channel. Oh, uh, again, guys, I do not ever, 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 ever message people for readings. Uh, my other channel, Ricky Reveals, it was hijacked by someone I let into my, well, my ex, but I let him too close to me and he hijacked all my work I've been doing for the last three years. Um, so my cash app, no more, my PayPal, no more. And I will never, ever message you asking, do you want a reading? Uh, but please do not send any money to, um, Yeshua's good 82 cash app or, uh, at James Newell 2020 for PayPal, because I do not have access to those accounts anymore. I think Aquarius, for whatever reason, meeting your twin flame is going to be a tower moment. I th obviously I think it's going to be a good tower moment, but it's going to be, I don't know. It's going to mess your guys' heads up. I think you guys know each other already, um, but something about it, just seeing that the way I just saw it. Yeah. There's tower again. <laughs> um, 
when you guys look at each other and you realize that it was you all along, that it's going to be like, I mean, it's just going to be mind blowing. All right, let's get into this message. Knight of Swords. Hmm. That could be you, Aquarius. Um, for you younger Aquariuses. The Fool. The Hanged Man. So we've now got Scorpio. Uh, Aries and Pisces out here on the board uh, with along with Aquarius, uh, Libra and Gemini. You are stepping into your power, Aquarius. The Emperor came flying out right into the center of the reading. So, whatever you, you're doing, you just came out on top. Uh, you are sitting on your throne. That's so awesome. Congratulations, Aquarius. The name of uh, the Knight of Coins and your Empress. <laughs> she's either just entered your life or she's about to walk into it. Twin flames finally together. But it looks like this Knight of Swords. So maybe the Knight of Swords wasn't you. Maybe because the, the Emperor is you. Um, so it looks like. This Knight of Coins, either Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, um, was jealous of this Twin Flame connection, and he tried to step it because he saw it. More often, like, most likely, he's got spiritual gifts that he uses for the dark side, and he saw it before you did, and he tried to intercept it. Wow. I so did this reading last year and that's exactly what I said. I don't think it went for Aquarius though, that I did it for. I did it for Leo. Um, but wow, that's crazy. Anyways. <laughs> so this Taurus <clears throat> or this earth sign, it just, for me, it's resonating really well with Taurus, <laughs> uh, especially with the Empress coming up right after it. Um, but he knew who you were and who your divine counterpart was. And he also knew when to step in to fuck it up or try to fuck it up. Wow. But see, look at this. See how... I gotta put it that way because that's the way it looks on the board. Um, this Knight of Coins is all up in the Emperor's shit. Like, he's like, oh, Emperor. Emperor. I need my Emperor. I want to be with the Emperor. But the Emperor, he don't give a fuck. <laughs> he said, Knight of Coins, go back to... Go back outside or something. But the way it falls out on the board is... They're looking at each other. They both were waiting for this moment. And I don't think they knew they were waiting for it. <laughs> um, but it's something they've wanted all their lives and didn't even realize they wanted it. But now, it's going to be that moment like where I'm sure these two people have looked each other in the eyes before. But this time, because they both have stepped into their power, when they look each other in the eyes, it's going to be that that moment. It, it was always you. It had to be you. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> um, that's why wow, it's really powerful. Again, it's why I think it's like a tower moment, because you have looked looked into each other's eyes before um probably been intimate before 
but because there were things in the way because it just didn't, I don't know. There's too many things in the way. And I guess it was being done out of lust and not, not out of love. So like neither one of you really ever saw it before, but also you had some lessons to learn. You had some dreams to build. So a lot of things had to come before the union. Ooh. Yeah. And the angels have been watching over this the whole time. <laughs> um, you guys were meant to be together. And it may have actually taken longer than it should have. But it's because this motherfucker right here. Because, see, he could have been an issue, but he looks like he's protecting the emperor and um, empress. And he's, like, looking at this knight of coins going, like, bitch, do something, I'll cut you. I will fucking take your head off. Don't touch my emperor my empress. And the fool, he's not paying attention, so, yeah, like... He's nothing to worry about. The hanged man, I mean, which is normally Pisces. I mean, it is Pisces energy, but to me, the way I'm seeing it right now, I feel like the, the Knight of Coins is the hanged man because he's done something that he can't come back from. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Wow. I don't like that, but why you can never make impulsive moves impulsive decisions because sometimes you don't get to come back from them fuck man I was not expecting that when I decided to do this reading and this is a, at all um, resonating with you go to my Ricky Reveals channel and search the reading Justice Coming to Three Kings that's what I just saw in my head just now. Man. I hope not. Fuck. Lord of God. Please be with the person you know who's on my mind right now. Please be with them. And I know they've done a lot of shitty things. But man, please. Father, I'm sorry. I did not mean to call you man. <laughs> Father, please. Give him another chance. I mean, put him in spiritual jail, put him, you know, put, put him in timeout, but please give him another chance to realize that you do love him and that as hard as he's tried, or maybe it was all an illusion and act, I don't know, but it felt real at some point. But as much as he's tried to get close and have a relationship with you it was the demon's voice that he was hearing so if it's not too late will you please just put him in spiritual time out and not off his head and yes it was precious holy name i asked him pray amen sorry guys i really had to do that um because yeah i felt that relief i almost started crying um there's some kind of truth coming out um probably what was done Fuck. Death at the bottom. Um, but probably what was done to try and stop this Emperor and Empress from coming together, that's probably about to come out. I don't even know if I'm going to post this. No, I got to. I mean, I, it's... But... Just take it as a lesson. Anyone who watches this video, Aquarius especially, because I mean, it's your reading, but I definitely don't think <laughs> you're the one that, uh, you're not the one I just prayed for. Let's just put it that way. Um, but um, never make any choices out of like instant pissivity or like, don't ever, ever make a choice out of anger. 
without taking time to be rational about it because it might be the last choice you ever make. Yeah, Aquarius, things are really going. <laughs> you things are going well for you. I mean, like really well. You're this is your this is your power. The star is Aquarius energy. So um, you've tapped into it, <laughs> Emperor. You have tapped into it. The rest of your life is going to be sweet, super sweet. <laughs> um, yeah, everything you've been through in your life is over. I mean, all the pain, the heartbreak, the failures, it's over now. You will know nothing but joy and happiness the rest of your life. And you're even getting married to your empress. And it's probably going to happen quick. Because I'm telling you, that tower being here, these two looking at each other, and that popping up at the end. These two people have known each other for a very long time. But this time, when they meet up now, if like, or if in your story, maybe it's already happened. But uh, when these two people come together after stepping into their power and after going through all the tests that they had to go through to elevate and to achieve this blessing. Um, that kind of hell changes you. Trust me. I've been, I, I actually just went through it myself. Um, actually, I don't think it's quite done yet, but I already know a lot and, um, people I really care about. Um, yeah, they made choices they shouldn't have made. And so now, it's still gonna play out but i pretty much have already been told with what's gonna happen to him um and it's not easy because there's nothing you can do when god calls judgment you're either standing on the good side or you're standing on the bad side and you have no one to blame but yourself um so yeah i just went through some really hard things myself and um as much as you could try and warn somebody that fat meat is greasy, they don't have ears to listen and eyes to see. You could tell them over and over again, and they're still going to do it. But anyways, <laughs> so um, after knowing that kind of heartbreak, coming back together, I mean... It's almost going to be like, you've never met this person before, even though you're going to recognize them and you're going to be like, oh yeah, hey, how's it going? You know, wait, how's it going? <laughs> Man, why couldn't we have seen this 10 years ago, 20 years ago? Life would have been a lot different, wouldn't it? <laughs> but, um, no, it's because you had to go every, you had to go through everything you went through exactly when you went through it and how you went through it or else you wouldn't have become the emperor. And then you, you still wouldn't recognize your empress because you weren't sitting in your power to know that's your divine counterpart. Um, clarify. Clarify the empress because traditionally she's Taurus uh, energy and the uh, emperor is Aries. And there is there is a lot of Taurus out here. Um, so your fine counterpart could be a Taurus. Um, really kind of getting a bad feeling it's not, but um, because of what I saw. But um, it could be a Taurus. It could be an Aries, Pisces, or Scorpio, or a Leo. Definitely gonna. <laughs> uh, definitely could be a Leo, uh, Aries, or. Sagittarius. Um, the, or a Capricorn. <laughs> right at the bottom. <laughs> and right behind that is the Ten of Pentacles. So your divine counterpart is... I'm going to say, if that Knight of Coins came in and did what he, I think he did to you, your divine counterpart is Capricorn. He was trying to emulate a Capricorn's energy because he already knew that 
you were supposed to be with that Capricorn. And he, out of jealousy and envy, didn't want it to happen. So he came in and tried to pretend to be this Capricorn. And with what else I've seen in this reading, I don't think it worked. You saw right through him. Maybe not right at first, but you definitely saw right through him. And um, yeah, you'll now be taking steps towards, I'm going to say the Capricorn, just because not being biased because I'm a Capricorn, I'm just saying, that makes perfect sense why the, the fake twin came in and the fake twin was a Taurus. Because the real twin was a Capricorn. And you guys will have the, um, I mean, everything a man could want. A man, a woman could want. Your children's children's children will be living off the money you two make together. Um, but again, there's also Leo. There's also Aries and Sagittarius. What is this truth that's coming out that's obviously going to shake some things up? Maybe the fact that the Taurus tried to stop it from happening and was really shady at what he did to try and stop it from happening. Oh, man. Nine of coins. He was stealing money. Right. I don't condone stealing. Wrong thing. Done for the right reason is still the wrong thing. But he was in love and he was doing it out of love, doing it for someone he loved. Doesn't make it right. You should never steal from somebody. But that is, he was trying to get an ace of pentacles with the person he loved. The Queen of Pentacles. <sighs> this is rough. But if um there's still as long as somebody's not um in the East River, um there's still a chance for all of this for God to like completely um wrap this around in a very divine way and for everyone involved to be happy. It's just going to take some strength. It's going to be some very interesting things happening in the next 24 to 48 hours. Tower. <laughs> Tower for everybody involved. <laughs> um, what is today? Somebody could be getting married. Before the end of this week. With that hair font being here. At the end of the reading. Definitely. The Emperor and the Empress. Even though. They literally. They're just coming back into each other's lives. Or. Um, yeah. Or just realizing that they are who they are to each other. I mean. It's only going to be. 
in Vegas. Um, you can marry instantly in Vegas, you know. <laughs> you literally are gonna go from being brokenhearted to being married like instantly. Answer prayers. Twin flame. Travel. Rest. Yeah. There was somebody here trying to stop it from happening. But victory goes out to the twins. And somebody else goes to a mental ward. Wow. Yeah. I. Whew. Really intense reading, Aquarius. But, yes, there were some things that I'm sure you didn't want to happen the way they had to happen. And maybe in the next couple of days, there's going to be a couple other things that are just going to be shocking um, that you're not going to be ready for. There's just no way to prepare for those things. Um, it's about to be the most exciting. I think once it like, once this takes place, your life is just gonna, I mean, propel, propel, I mean, at full force. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, please give me some more cards. Right. Take charge, take charge and take action. Once you know what it is you need to do, just do it. Transformation. Wow. Makes so much more, makes so much sense for what I've gone through the last three weeks. Opportunity and change. Healing. Spiritual growth. Signs reminder of who that twin is. It was all a part of it was all a part of a sacred plan. Hold your composure. This is a holy love. And the guardian angels have made sure it was going just as it should all along, even when you probably had doubt that it was. I love you, Aquarius. If you love me as much as I love you, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you soon.